Hi guys, um, welcome back to another studio vlog. Starting it in a slightly random location, sat in my car, um, and I'm just about to go into work. It is the 19th of May today, and I'm about to go hand in my notice in my full time job. And I want to take you along for the journey. Um, for those of you who are new here, my name is Millie, I own a calligraphy business called Blink Lettering and I also work full time as a graphic designer. I've been running my business for six years on the side of working full time and it's got to a point where I feel ready to go fully self-employed. Um, yeah, I've just worked so hard to get to this point, can't quite believe it a little bit emotional right now uh yeah let's go hand in my notice at work what welcome back to another studio vlog this studio vlog is really exciting as you can probably tell from the first clip you saw um I'm going fully self-employed, like, ah, <laughs> um, so it's actually a few days since the last clip that I filmed, the first one that you've seen for this video, as you can tell my hair is now bright pink, um, and yeah, last week on Thursday I handed my notice in, in my full-time job, uh, I've got eight weeks notice period, so I'll still be working there for eight weeks. Um, but I wanted to bring you guys along for the journey in terms of my preparation for it and everything I need to do over the next few weeks. But firstly, I just wanted to explain a little bit about the situation, especially if you're completely new here, you might have no idea what I'm going on about. Basically, I've been doing blink lettering for over six years now, and that whole time I have been working full time as a graphic designer. In the past six years, I've worked at three different design agencies, and it's been great, but it's also been really full on. Although obviously lockdown was really hard for a lot of people, it was actually quite good for me. Um, I always feel guilty saying that. Oh, Raven's barking. What is it, puppy? What's up? Come here, puppy. Yeah, so, so the lockdown was really good for me because it gave me lots of time to work on my business. I actually had my hours reduced at work because of obviously lockdown affecting yeah. business and things like that. So I had an extra day to work on it as well. That was only for a couple of months. Um, and yeah, the past two years, I've actually really enjoyed kind of balancing both. But now things have really got back to being normal, like really normal. Uh, I'm really struggling. I'm struggling to do business. I'm struggling to be social. I'm struggling with, well, I'm not struggling with the job because obviously that's a priority. I can't struggle with that. I've also got a little puppy as well. And it's just been a lot. And I've always had this plan that I would eventually quit my full-time job, but a big part for me was to make sure we got a house with a mortgage. It's a lot easier in the UK to get a mortgage if you've got a full-time job compared to working in a business. So we got this house in November and um, yeah, my aim for this year was to go full-time self-employed. I really wanted it to be like beginning of Jul uh, June would be when I'd start. It's been a little bit delayed because I didn't save as much money as I wanted. I wanted to save at least three months worth of like my kind of bills and stuff. And that's not really gone to plan. So obviously there's a bit of a risk factor in this. I have had a roller coaster of emotions over the past few weeks about whether to do this. Is this a stupid idea? Especially in the current climate with energy prices going up, everything's just getting more expensive, obviously owning a house. Um, so yeah, it's it's been really difficult, I'm not gonna lie. It's not just like, hey, I got my job, yay, woo. It's been a really tough decision um, and part of the thing that has massively helped me with this decision is that I will continue working with a company I work with full time on a freelance basis 
and that just gives me a little bit of security in terms of money coming in I know that I will have money coming in and that's a massive bonus I'm very lucky that my job is creative so it all kind of intertwines so yeah I'll be looking at like two to three days of that kind of freelance work um, it's likely especially at the beginning that I will also freelance for other places and um, do a lot more design heavy stuff rather than just blink lettering just because it's work that I know I can get quite quickly um, with kind of minimal effort in a way so yeah from the 15th of July well the 15th of July is my last official day as a full-time person so after that I'm my own boss I'm fully self-employed which is sometimes terrifying and sometimes really exciting I have to say I had a massive relief lifted off my shoulder off my shoulders after I handed my notice in and it was nothing to do with the job like it's actually a really good job and I do really enjoy it and I think if I didn't have blank lettering I wouldn't really think of leaving there anytime soon but I've just got something a bit closer to my heart and I'm running out of energy it's really starting to affect my mental health it, that's probably been something that's quite evident on Instagram if you follow me on there I'm a bit up and down with it and I try to be as honest as possible. That's a very long-winded, complicated introduction to this video. And this video, I basically wanted to document the next eight weeks of how I'm preparing to go fully self-employed. Now, one thing that I'm looking to do is create a new business. You're probably thinking, Millie, what on earth are you doing? You're quitting a job so you have more time. Why would you set up another business? But basically, any freelance graphic design work I do, I want that to be separate to Blink. I want Blink to be all about calligraphy and like products and things like that. Whereas as a freelance graphic designer, I think that needs to be more me, uh, like so under my name. So I need to set up a business in terms of that. I already have a website. It's not live or anything. I've got a dom domain from when I was applying for graphic design jobs in the past. So I need to create some sort of design portfolio. Um, I set up a new business account the other day with Monzo, so my current one is with Starling, which I absolutely love, but I felt like I needed a separate business account for like my graphic design side of stuff. Um, and although I'm saying I'm setting up a new business, actually there's quite a lot of Blink stuff that will shift over to there, so I'm currently doing some small business branding for a client and I've got another one lined up soon, and they will shift over to Millie Withers not blink lettering um so it's not necessarily loads of new work it's more kind of shifting things around to make it a bit clearer so yeah i've set up a new business bank account and i need to set up a pension because i won't be getting paid into a pension anymore i've got to sort all of that myself so i think i'm going to go with penfold for that and I've got to sort out things like I'm probably a new Instagram for my graphic design stuff, sort out my portfolio um, and just generally do a lot of housekeeping. Tonight I'm going to sit on the sofa, get comfy and um, do like a little checklist on my Notion and just see what I need to do, get everything down so it's not in my head. Yeah, I'm excited to take you along on this journey. Um, I'm definitely feeling a lot more positive now than I have in the past couple of weeks. And I'm excited to see where this can go. For those of you who've been following me for a while, you know that this has been a big goal and a big dream of mine. And a genuinely, genuinely, sorry my phone is buzzing. I genuinely couldn't have done this without you guys. I appreciate every single one of you who has supported me, whether that's just in the past couple of months, weeks, or if you've been around since the beginning. If you have been around since the beginning, let me know in the comments below. Hi guys, it is uh, Sunday the 29th of May today, and I haven't filmed anything since the last time I spoke to you. Um, I was gonna start like being productive, getting myself a bit organized, like I said, but I realized that um like the lead up into handing my notice in and everything that went through it like 
I just felt really mentally drained afterwards. I was obviously having a lot of doubts in myself and whether it was the right thing. And I still get those a little bit. Um, so I've just kind of been looking after myself. I've been enjoying spending time with Raven, I've seen a couple of friends. And I've also just been focusing on my job because I'm looking to do freelance work with them. I just kind of really want to like keep that relationship good um, and make it as strong as possible. However, I'm feeling a little bit more like ready to get productive. I do have a glass of wine to um, chill out a little bit this evening. But I am going to sit down and actually go through my notion like I said to you guys last time that I was going to do and I just never got around to it. I'm going to kind of get myself organised, get everything down on paper, figure out a plan of action. And I also think I might figure out a plan of like how I'm going to use my time once I am self-employed and figure that out as well. I quite like to batch work together, so like do all of my YouTube stuff one day. Um, do like admin stuff one day. Obviously I need to keep up with emails in general, but um, yeah, I want to have a little think uh, before I go downstairs and start being productive. I did get my Monzit card. <laughs> to the camera for a little while. It is uh, Tuesday the 7th of June today, so it's been a few weeks since I had my notice in at work, um, and I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed, I'm not going to lie. Um, between now and my last day in my job, I have one week holiday, a baby shower, a hen do and a wedding to go to. Um, so yeah, all of that before the 15th of July. Oh, and my five year wedding anniversary. So there's a lot going on right now. And around all of that, I obviously need to continue working in my full time job. And I need to look after uh, Raven. This little one down there, a little black fluff. Um, but I need to sort out my design website, which maybe is probably lower on the priority, but I need to get that ready. I also need to sort out a design portfolio, which won't go public, but it's just to show my work um, with other agencies and agencies I'm at, so I can get some kind of other agency work as part of my uh, like freelance design stuff. That's probably the most important thing for me to do. Um, and then just, yeah, generally get ready. I need to sort out some dates for click free workshops. I have been speaking to the local venue here and I've got some dates in mind. I need to just sort that out, get that on my website. Um, and I'm just feeling a bit all over the place at the moment. Um, work is taking a lot out of me in terms of energy. Um, I'm trying to do as good a job as possible because I want to maintain that relationship and going to the office takes up a lot of time and then Raven um, is obviously taking up a lot of my time as well which I love, I love her so much but we're walking her and she's just very energetic and then we're doing some other training bits as well which obviously takes up time and I feel a little bit out of sync because I used to be very much a morning person and I get a lot done in the mornings. However, with Raven, she we get, go to bed later with her, just so she makes it through the night in terms of weeing, pooing. Um, so I feel a bit all over the place in terms of my kind of time. And if I am awake early, then it's all taken up by Raven because she's very lively in the mornings. So yeah, I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed at the moment. I thought I'd just come on and share. Like the whole point of this video is to share the journey um, 
and see how I'm doing. Oh, and another thing I'm doing is a calligraphy engraving event in Bournemouth. So I need to practice how to do engraving because I'm very new to it. Um, I'm doing another vlog on that right now as well. So I'm kind of flitting between two vlogs at the moment. There's a lot going on. And obviously just the general stress of like, is this a good idea? Am I being a completely stupid person quitting my job when the cost of living is going up? And I will no longer have like a regular pay check. Like next week is my last ever full paid week off on holiday. Like I'm not going to get that again. So yeah, I just feel a bit all over the place at the moment. I'm going to go to my notion, see what I need to get done. I need to order a hard drive to store loads of stuff on because my computer is getting filled up um, and I need to do some prep for this wedding I'm going to, I'm doing some design work so I need to sort that out as well. Um, so yeah, you can see my brain is like at the moment, um, but we got this, we're going to get through this, time is going very quickly. I am going to announce this week on my Instagram that I'm going full time as well. Um, it's getting announced to people I work with and I wanted to wait until that was done just to be like professional basically. But yeah, there's a lot going on. That's the work into my brain right now. I feel like I'm in a dream, not like a nightmare or a good dream, just like floating through. It's mad. <laughs> Take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Hi guys, um, I'm currently precariously balanced on top of a glass. Uh, it is June the 23rd today and work today was just mental. Like, it was just hectic in the office. Like good hectic, like lots of fun work but it was just a lot. And I also realised today that I've only got three weeks left until it's my last employee day. Which has just made me feel really nervous and stressed and panicked. And it is quite a lot later than when I was literally just speaking to you. My camera died and uh, my other battery wasn't charged, which is just the story of my life at the moment. What I was saying, I think, was that... Um, yeah, the realisation that I only have three weeks left of employed life just has got me a bit panicked and stressed. I'm feeling a little bit better now. My studio had become a chaotic mess from doing like engraving practice, getting like deliveries, just, I've just not been very present. I feel like right now I am just doing the bare minimum with Blink just to get me through to when I'm completely self-employed. Um, I've got a couple of client bits at the moment, which I am giving my all. So I'm doing a back branding project. I'm also doing a wedding. Um, and I've got some like smaller bits like a um, project for craft magazine. So I am giving those my all, but like the rest of Blink is a bit chaotic. And this room got chaotic and my brain feels chaotic. It's just a lot to think about. I'm still in the process of like negotiating my freelance contract with where I work. It's going like fine. It, I just need to like create a contract, which is obviously a big thing for me to do. But obviously I can use that for like other projects going forwards as well. Yeah, there's just so much to think about. Um, and obviously the worry that <laughs> I need to make money. Um, cost of living is going up. Part of me is like, what? What on earth am I doing? Like seriously, is this like a good idea? But I also think that I don't think I could carry on like mentally with what I've been doing. And I've had lots of thoughts about this. And the conclusion was that it's, I've got to get rid of the business or I've got to get rid of the full-time job. And I've just put way too much into Blink. And just me as a person, developing me as a person, understanding how to run a business. Blink might not be my forever business, it might not be my forever career, but I've learned so much from it and I want to put those skills into it full time. 
so yeah I keep flipping between being very excited and being a little bit overwhelmed and scared and nervous and yeah I've got some money coming in for this branding project and the engraving I've done and um some other little bits so and then I'll also get paid for like half of July so that's gonna help for like basically end of July payday I'll have like enough money and then after that it's just a who knows where the money's coming from so yeah it's a little bit scary I'm not gonna lie I feel like this vlog is probably seems a bit negative and I'm sorry if it is um I just kind of wanted to document my thoughts and feelings I think especially on Instagram there's this very big thing of like I start my business and within six months or within a year I quit and it's amazing and blah blah blah, blah. and there's not this kind of like reality talk and like the nerves and things like that and also I didn't start my business a year ago and I'm just suddenly quitting this has been over six years um and there's been various we reasons reasons why I haven't just taken the dive mainly money and just I felt like I, I wasn't good enough I felt like I was learning a lot in my job and I didn't want to miss out on that opportunity to learn and I feel so much more confident in myself as a graphic designer now so I know that I can offer that freelance too. So yeah I am really proud of where I've come to but I think this vlog is just going to show you the reality that it's, it's bloody terrifying but if you are thinking about doing it please don't let this put you off because I'm really excited as well like I've so many ideas and I just can't wait um so yeah I've tidied this room now it's literally been the tidiest it's been in like weeks this corner I still need to sort out but it's so much tidier this has just had like clutter all over it for weeks boxes and stuff I've got two bourbon biscuits and some lemonade it's 10 p.m but I need them um and then tidy over here and tidy desk which has also been quite chaotic I feel so much better now I feel so much better hi guys it is um monday the 11th of july i can't even remember the last time i spoke to you to be honest um the past couple of weeks have just been flying by in a bit of a whirlwind um but it's officially my last week being employed. I've done my last Monday being employed, I've got four more days, and then I'm in the full-time self-employed club, which is just bonkers. I felt a bit like all over the place today, but in like a really proud way. Um, randomly cried a couple of times in the car on the way home from the office because I'm happy, I'm proud, like, if you've been around for a while, you know that this is something I've been working to for a really long time. There's definitely moments where I've compared myself to other people, seen other people doing well and quitting their jobs, but I've been on my own journey and it's finally my time and I'm just so, I don't know, I'm just so proud of getting to this point. It still feels a bit surreal, but I just, yeah, it's just a bit bonkers. I honestly haven't done pretty much anything that I was hoping to do before finishing my job. I still need to get a design portfolio together. I still need to get my design website together. But I think I keep being like, oh, I'll just do that when I'm full time. I just keep putting things off and like quite honestly for the past like couple of weeks, months, I haven't really had the mental capacity to do a lot of stuff. Like I've just felt really drained. Um, here we've got a little raven, can you say hi? Hello Kiwi. Hello. Hello. You want to say hi to the camera? You want to say hi? Are you big girl now? Hi you. Are you big girl? Um, my business has definitely grown a lot in the past couple of years because of COVID and just having a lot more time and accessibility. Obviously, not being able to have a social life myself. Sorry, Raven, as well. It's crawling all over the floor. 
um but then with that with everything opening up it's just not been possible for me to keep up with everything it's been really difficult and i'm just proud that i've got to this point i just i just can't believe doing it like yeah um i've just been tidying up my office a little bit because it again just got into a state um and I just need a bit clear for work tomorrow. And while doing that, I realised that I had two packages that I, well, I've opened one, I haven't even opened the other one. This is how much, like, I've just been like, I'll just do that later. Um, but they're both Kickstarter packages. And I thought I'd unbox them now because I want to share the love of these lovely businesses because without these two people, like they have been massive supports for me and like giving me lots of encouragement. So I just always want to give sure, something back. So the first one is from the lovely Carrie from Carography. And uh, look how colorful this package is. It's so pretty. Um, so we've got an all kind, uh, you are all kinds of lovely. It's personalized with my name, which is lovely. Um, and then, we have a lovely little print. I absolutely love Carrie's alcohol art. Oh, it's so beautiful, especially mixed with her calligraphy. And then we've got some lovely washi tapes. I went for these four washi tapes. I can't remember how many she did in the end. I may have got all of them. So basically they're based on her alcohol inks and they are beautiful. So this is the first one and they're pretty on brand for me in terms of colour as well, so that's a bonus. This is the second one, which is beautiful. This one is so pretty. Look at that kind of gold foil of the, um, what's the word, foliage, leaves. The final one. So they look really nice as a set. This one's a bit more rainbowy. And I'm a little bit obsessed. That's her logo. Well done, lovely. These are beautiful. I have a box from Emily Harvey Art for her Kickstarter. So Emily's done, I think this is her fourth Kickstarter, so she's my Kickstarter queen now. Um, and I can't remember what I went for in the end. I'm gonna save the like best things at the last. Um, it's lovely, nicely packaged. I like this paper, it's like, oh, it's a bag. I like it. That's a clever way of keeping everything together. Oh, uh, yeah, I went for everything. <laughs> I was like, oh, what do I want to go for? Emily is like such a lovely human being and such a lovely small business owner, and she is so supportive of like her patrons and like just. She's just so sharing in everything she does. So I just wanted to make sure that I support her back. So she did a series of pins. We've got one, two, three, four, five. And for the Kickstarter, she did a special backing card that has all of them on it. So how pretty are they? How pretty are they? So we have one that opens up. Oh, that's so cool. And then we've got a little key with a dangly bit. I really like her keeping pins on backing cards. At some point I want to get a big cork board, like people do with pins, but keep the backing cards because that's part of the design, I think. And I think that's really pretty. And then we've got a foil sticker, which, oh my God, that's so shiny. I might need to see where she got this printed because that is beautiful. And whoa. Look how shiny they are. Ooh. So Emily's known for doing like a lot of character stuff, but I, I personally quite like these little illustrations and like her introducing a bit of lettering in because you know me, I like type so. And then this is like the final thing which is a dream come true for her to have her very own loop. Oh my gosh. She's got a 
our logo on the back. And then she's got filled with hopes and dreams written on the front in a beautiful lilac colour. And I believe it is Electrum. Le Electrum. So it's got a nice little bookmark. Quite like that. Oh, there's two. So inside it's all dotted. And also I've noticed that there's little piece numbers at the bottom, which is cool. And what's really cool is Emily has put all of her Kickstarter backers in here, which is so special. Yeah, so that's a really, really lovely notebook. Um, very proud of what Emily has achieved with all of this. It's all so beautiful. Hi guys, it is Wednesday today. Um, it's been quite a busy week at work this week. Uh, this morning I popped to go see a client, which was cool, that was interesting. Um, so yeah, I just feel like a little bit all over the place. I've got a little bit of work to do now. It's currently, what time is it? It's like half nine. And I need to do some blink work, which I should have probably have done sooner. But I just haven't. However, what I did do is go for a really lovely swim in the sea earlier and Raven had a good swim as well. I didn't get any photos or videos, I was just enjoying the moment. But yeah, it was so lovely. And I just came to the realisation like this time next week on a Wednesday, I won't have freelance work to do with my company. I'm it will be like a day for me. And I just can't wait. Um, so yeah, two more days of full-time employment and then I'm self boy baby. <laughs> today I will officially be fully self-employed I won't have a regular income <laughs> I will be freelance I'll be, be able to work on blink more and I'm so excited um, I'm working from home today in my job I normally work at home on a Friday anyway the sun is shining it's boiling hot we've got some friends coming over tomorrow to celebrate that and housewarming and um, what's the word our five year anniversary as well, so it'll be nice to celebrate tomorrow. I'm just feeling so excited. There's obviously still a lot of nerves there, um, especially with like the cost of living going up and just seeing so many of my small business friends like struggling a bit at the moment, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna dive in. We'll see how it goes. Start of a new journey. I sent out an email to my email subscribers this morning. Um, just kind of not sharing the news because I've obviously already shared that but like saying a little bit about what to expect from me now I'll have a little bit more time for Blink and how I'm like balancing my time with different things and I'll be sharing more of that over my Instagram as well and I'll, but today is all about celebrating enjoying my last day at work um, it's not like a sad day in terms of leaving because I will be working at the company on a freelance basis so I still get to see everyone I work with and that's a bonus it's not like an end in that sense so I think that's partly why I'm just feeling excited and not too sad is because I can still see the lovely people I work with I'm gonna go get some breakfast I've got 30 minutes until my workday starts and I'm starving I know it's nothing new it's so good to see you Guys, I'm officially self-employed 
I feel like I'm gonna cry. Um, but before I do, <laughs> I was a little bit extra and I bought myself a party cannon, a party cannon, a confetti cannon. And I'm gonna do a little post for Instagram, making this explode. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. I looked out and I saw the rain. I wanted it to go away. That scared me a little bit. I wasn't expecting it to be so loud. And I have confetti all over my floor. But I've got a really fun post. Um, that was just a nice little celebration for me. Um, I'm trying to like, trying really hard not to cry right now. Just really um, proud that I've got to this point. It's just been a lot of work. And I finally did it. Whew. I'm finally full-time self-employed and it's, it's, yeah hopefully it's gonna be worth it and it's gonna be an amazing journey I've spent years feeling like I haven't been doing enough in my business because I've taken so long to get to this point you see if other businesses doing it in like a year six months but I actually think it's been worth the wait and I can't wait to get started <sighs> Thank you just so much for supporting me. Um, yeah, that, that party pop I've like had in my head for a while, and I think that was like, I don't know, it signified the beginning of the next journey for me. And I just can't wait to get started. I am going to enjoy a nice glass of Prosecco tonight, although I want to sit in a garden. And we have some baby seagulls that have been living on our roof and it looks like one has fallen on the floor and Raven has been very inquisitive about it so I don't know if we can go in our garden right now. But yeah, we're gonna do something to celebrate tonight. And I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here actually. Uh, I'm gonna do another vlog um, of like next week, like the first week of being employed. So employed, self-employed, not employed. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you so, so, so much for helping me get to this point. It's been a journey, it's been a ride. And I can't wait for the next stages. Thank you for watching this vlog. I think it might have been a bit all over the place, showing a bit of the chaos that's been going in my head and the nerves that have been running around. But we've done it. <laughs> we've finally done it. <laughs> I'm gonna go before I have a complete breakdown on camera. But thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you watch till the end, then leave me a little party popper emoji to celebrate the ridiculousness of that. And I'll catch you soon for another vlog. Bye. <laughs>